Cool. Alright, so this is a special quest with a timed event. Um, looks like it involves all these islands I'm supposed to get. Um, guessing I have to beat these guys. To light up all these devices, so let's see if we can get our boat and hop along and we'll light up all the devices. Oh yeah, there's a, not too far away, there's a, uh, a waypoint. I need to unlock that. Looking for my boat. Anyone see my boat? There it is. I can get this. All right, let's get this waypoint over here. Grab me some more eggs. That's interesting. They show this. Look like a ladder almost. First, I'll run out of energy if I jump, so I gotta go slow. And should go slow. There we go. Now, before we go that, I see I have a couple free steps. Alright. Alright, some enemies in a chest. That's not the waypoint. Let's see if the waypoint's up here. Yeah, it's up here. See the map, it's just up. So it means it has to go up, up, up. Up a level. Hopefully I have enough energy to make it up here. A couple more hops, hop de hop. There we go. Ta-da! Wow, okay. That was rather arduous. Oh yeah, nice. Look at that, cleared off the whole map. Cool. Maybe I don't have a fog anymore. The surrounding fog seems to have lifted. Lighting these devices is really useful. Okay, there's gotta be something up here. You mean you brought me all the way up here and there's nothing? Why did they put this up here? What were they thinking? Alright, it says there's a shell down here, so let's go for a shell. Shell, shell, shell. It says I already passed it. Oh, it's right here. Hovering backwards. Echoing conch. Hey, guess what? Grandma gave me a gift. You wanna see it? Here, Grandma says they come from the world outside. Uh, she says our ancestors brought it to the island when they first came here. Oh, and she taught me a nursery rhyme too. Um, I think it goes like this: Four winds bring the sound of joy. Four winds, huh? What do winds have to do with sound, huh? All right, so that's done. I can go get in back into my boat. Oh, look what I found. All right, I don't have any ranged people, so let's all one up. You are ranged. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. You are also... ...unconscious. Ready, steady, go! Easy, medium, and hard. Okay. Almost useless. Alright. 
So we're looking for my boat, most likely, right? There I see it. Uh, oh, that's where the uh, egg was. All right, we are back. So we've lit in, lit two, or at least one of the three. Let's look on the map and see if they marked anywhere else. Okay, so we've got more. We've got one southwest down here and one south down there. So let's head straight for that one. I think I see something off in the distance, an island and something. Do, 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 do. They're kind of tiny little islands. Alrighty. More monsters. Let's keep going. Last I recall, those chests were like hardly worth my time. It was just a little bit of gold. In other words, not much. I see an island straight ahead. That's probably the next one. We're rocking. Making great time. Alright, now how are we going to climb that thigh? Thing. We might have to go to the smaller one first. Oh wait, I think I see something. This might work. Work. Okay. Puts on the brakes. Hop up. Hop up. Ah. There we go. That's a little bit more arduous. Yep, there's a shell up here, so that's worth the trip. We're collecting shells. I, I'll check the uh, progress on that eventually. After we get a few. Ah, we need fire. Okay. Let's swap out you. Oops, wrong button. Party set up. And I see the shell right there. Uh, let's swap out official for you. Outrider Amber, reporting. Alright, Echoing Conch. I've seen it with my own eyes. People disappear into the fog and never return. So please, do not put yourself in danger. Okay. That was uh, not a whole lot for that, but... Where is the last one? There's always three. Oh, one more. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Aha! Ta da! Okay. Couple of thingies. Hardly worth the time, but worth it, I guess. All right, where's my boat? My boat is down. I won't let you down. All right, back. We were heading for a waypoint. Are we close to there yet? We still need to go west, southwest. So we're not quite there. Must be that island. Certainly looks like it. Oh, I see it. Way over there. Let's hop up. Yeah. 
All right, look at that. Oh my, all these islands I didn't go to. Huh. Well, that's, I call that a good thing. All right, I'm going to unlock that thing northwest and then go south. The surrounding area is gradually becoming clearer. Let's go and find the last one. All right, unlock. Get me my boat. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff over there. I'm gonna skip that. I don't see any shells. Where are all these shells? They wanted me to find a whole bunch of them. Not finding very many. Alright, we want to go south. These kind of point south. Yeah, that's pretty good. Come on. Filling up with gas. Ooh, a bubble. Ah. There's one of those islands with monsters on it over there. We're back in the fog, so we're in the mystery zone. Okay. Let me skip that for now. Whoa. Didn't expect that. Although I see an island straight ahead. I'm going to head straight for it. I could damage the boat. There it is, the last one right there. Bingo! We just need to find a spot to climb up, and this looks like a spot right here. Bingo! Alright, we win! What do we win? Ooh. We get a little bit more information. Now they want me to go all the way back to here. Any shells or anything on this island before we disappear? We can unlock that. If only the wind was a little stronger. Hmm. Stronger wind, eh? hit it a few times and it just suicided. Nice. Alright, that was a good one. That was a good chest. Grab that firefly. Alright, and call my ship back onto this part. Let's hop in. Actually, I bet we could warp there faster. Well, I kind of want to see what this is. Real. Curiosity. There's a little island over there. I don't see much on it. Oh, okay. It's another one with a chest. I'm warping. High ground, high ground. The fog's gone. Oh, it's actually pretty scenic here. The four beacons have been lit, but we still don't know what trials may lie ahead. <sighs> the weather's so nice. I know we can't afford to drop our guard, but I can't help but enjoy the summer. I want to catch fish. Clee, this isn't Mondstadt. Please be careful. Oh, I understand. 
understand. Paimon, after we deal with Dodo King together, we can go catch some fish. Okay, sure, whatever you say. Who or what exactly is Dodo King? You seem concerned. Yes, it is also my first time here. This may not sound fair to Klee, but my primary duty is to protect everyone. Finding this overlord is secondary. Also, the sudden appearance of this letter, these islands that are inaccessible by ordinary people, it's too much of a coincidence. Why would this sort of invitation be sent to a child? It's truly unbelievable. I also mustn't be careless. Well, what are we all waiting for? Let's start exploring the area. Carefree, ready to explore. Paimon's Classic right. Paimon. We should take advantage of the clear weather to reassess our situation. Even on a mysterious island, I have no worries as long as you're here. <sighs> so, should we go swimming first? <sighs> Barbara is always happy-go-lucky when she sees such beautiful scenery. Traveler, please feel free to explore. I'll be at the ready if there is any sign of danger. I hope this island doesn't give us too much trouble. Alright, part one complete. Part two, proceed with caution. It's an interesting theme. In the main canon, make ready, fire, challenge. Travelers will be tasked with keeping the sea clear of any monster encampments. Wave Rider's two armaments capable of dealing considerable damage to light floating towers, but cannot damage heavy floating towers. Travelers need to leave their Wave Rider to board heavy towers to cross swords the enemies. Okay, so I use my ship to kill all the little ones, and then I manually go kill the big ones. Some floating enemy structures are shielded by a violent wind barrier. Yeah, those guys with the wind. Only be destroyed with heavy cannons and explosive barrels. Collect pithy pearls. Decrease the cool town cooldown of your heavy cannon. Nice. Whirlpools appear. Once caught, wave render continuous damage. Okay, so avoid those. Okay. Turn to camp. Rest until 8 o'clock next morning. Let's fast forward because I think they just want me to wait till the sunlight's right for the next movie. That may not count, we'll see. It's hard to on dry ha! Uh, okay. Next morning. Silly and pointless, but okay. They showed the sunlight right for the video, I bet seems to be the thing they try to time it so that the video is exactly at the right amount of sun. Ta-da! Ah, the weather is so nice. Still feels like Pylon's dreaming. Oh, good morning! What's with everyone's clothes? Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, this doesn't look weird, does it? <sighs> Such light and summery clothing definitely doesn't suit me. <laughs> uh, pardon me. No, not really? at all. <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. It's surprising that Master Jean would specially pack summer clothes. Oh, <laughs> no. My big sister would never pack these herself. Lisa and I picked them out for her. Learning how big sister and not even realizing it? Barbara 
this drunk on summer already? <laughs> There's quite a story behind these summer clothes. I thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for an emergency. I didn't expect it to contain a set of summer clothing. Ugh. It's the firecracker. He's awake. He jumped out of his camera. Little firecracker. Say hello. Hello to the interwebs. <laughs> He's a loud one today. Oh. We fed him and he hasn't fallen back asleep yet. Probably be up and sleeping in no time. It's interesting. There's, there's a thing here. Is it this? Oh, it's the background in the in the video. It's over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's partially translucent. Thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for oh, mercy. Accessories oh. too. Definitely Lisa's handiwork. Eesh. Everyone in the Knights of Favonius is always trying to have me take leave. I suppose I do push myself too much. Everyone, come over here. That would be Clee. That's Clee's voice. I saw something weird. Huh? What's going on? What do you mean by something weird? Look at the ocean. See? There's something weird floating on the water. That narrow device. It seems to be a buoy. But we didn't see anything when we arrived here yesterday. <gasps> Dodo King must have put them there. Strange devices that just appear overnight? Well, since he hasn't revealed himself to us, does that mean he's changed his mind? Or may maybe these buoys are a clue and he's waiting for me to find him? Mm. So could that be why these buoys have suddenly appeared? Let's take a closer look right. and find out. We won't solve anything by guessing on shore. Is it okay to go out there, though? Perhaps. But we must investigate the buoys regardless. It's hard to say what will be waiting for us at sea. Just in case, prepare yourselves for combat. Once you are ready, please assemble here, and we'll head over on the boat together. She's reliable even in somewhere. Uh, not at all. This is... just my duty. Now then, I'll entrust the preparation efforts to all of you. I need to bring Jumpy Dumpties, Doloko, and myself. I like summer, but not just summer. I also like fall. Oh yes, and I also like spring and winter. Even though winter is very cold, I am Jumpy Dumpty. Whenever I feel cold, I blow something up. <laughs> Hmm. I need to bring Jumpy Dumpties. About the buoys? To place those things in the ocean. He's a bad guy. But I will bravely face him and do my best for Dodoko. Mr. Honorary Knight, thank you for helping me. <sighs> what could those buoys possibly mean? Uh, uh, summer clothes. They're, uh... <sighs> They were a surprise that Lisa prepared for me. My guess is that it was originally Barbara's suggestion. Barbara said that it's so rare for us to get a chance to come to an island, we should change into summer clothing to set the atmosphere. However, I'm not used to this style of clothing. <sighs> I hope wearing this doesn't look too odd. What could those buoys pop? These About this islands are isolated from the outside world. Like a secret domain crafted by nature itself. We were guided here by the letter, and with the assistance of Venti and Devalin. Everything seems a bit too serendipitous. I'm a little concerned, but I'm here to protect you all, so please don't worry. 
Come what may, I will face it head on. Hmm? Is there anything I can do? How do I look? Not bad, right? I wanted to surprise everyone, so I specifically chose an outfit complimenting an island atmosphere. Oh, but please don't worry. Even if I'm wearing summer clothes, I'm still just as reliable in battle. Hmm? Is there anything I can About do? the archipelago? I just want to say that the ocean here is beautiful. Sea and sun. Oh, a summer dream come true. It's Olaf. I really want to have a seaside performance. It would be amazing. I just know it. Have you finished your preparations? I'm ready. Great. Then let's head to the boat. I don't know what I was supposed to do, but... Boat is still over here. Oops. Oh. Tutorials. Okay. I accidentally entered tutorials, and those look interesting. Oh, it says there's a shell over here. Let me go grab that shell. There it is. We can't let the size of the ocean intimidate us. We have to at least try. You think we haven't tried before? We can't afford to lose anyone else! Hmm. They must have lost people. That oh. Oh my boat. Whoops. I don't want to blow this up. I wonder if there's something I'm supposed to do with it. Hey. Giant canyon, and see if it works. Oh, yeah, oh, is one hit. Stronger? Hurry back to shore. Earthquake. Check and see if there's something in that tree. Oh! Hey, she said earthquake. She heard me. There we go. That's a better archipelago. Some actual islands. Not a few drops in the bucket. Shaking, I heard the sound of machinery. I believe there may be an immense mechanical structure under this region of the ocean. 
With the entire archipelago situated on a mechanical framework, it could be activated to raise each island from beneath the water. Something like that would be nothing short of a miracle. Could it be the... Mm, probably not. Paimon feels like this is more likely a deliberate setup. It's incredible no matter how you think of it. Using a letter to draw us here, and these challenges involving various mechanisms... <sighs> the so-called Dodo King is no amateur. I agree with Jean. Mm -hmm. There goes the holiday mood. Hmm. Well, either way, cheer I'll up, do my we'll get this. Remain vigilant. Wow. Master Jean's so cool when she's determined. I might and I will exercise it. Increased cost. Thank you for your understanding. I found him! It's Dodo King! He's over there on that island! <laughs> gotcha! You wanted Klee to come find you, so here Klee comes! Jumpy Dumpties, get ready! Let's go! Is that a platform in the middle of the ocean? Something has appeared. Everyone, we can take a closer look, but please be on guard. figure out how to get off this island. There's gotta be up oh, there we go. Look what I found. Whoa. Alright, let me check the map. I know there was an event. I'm gonna go to here. I know they want me to go here, but I wanna go here on the way. Curious as to how this all works. Was this the platform? I think I'm supposed to shoot this thing down. Eat all opponents. There we go. That must be the main one I can't blow up. Avoid that. Got that. Alright, so they want me to get off and go beat them by hand. I think this is the big one. That'll work. Knock him in the wall. Thirteen. Oh man. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna have more reappear probably. Yep. Eyes on me. Into the water. Whoa. I jumped into the air, that was great. See if I can get this. I'm fine. There we go. Let the show begin. Hey, all in the water. Tiny flotsam. Give me a special shell. Where are all these timer thingies? Are those thingies I have to get with my boat? But those are rewards again. They are. 
Those ex make it so my cannon appears faster. Yes. Got them all. All right. So I conquered it. That wasn't that hard. Baidu almost died, but I've got Barbara, so I can never actually die. Ah, let's activate this bad boy. Aha! There we go. Alright. First motion of business, activate the waypoint. In case I need to come back here, or in case I die. Ah, and then there's a shell over there. No fog was lifted on that one. Where's my shell? No Brussels sprouts, okay. There we go, here's Shell. The grown ups say you come from a faraway land and that you're dressed like an army general. Don't you want to talk to me? If not, it's okay if I give you this flower, right? Okay. Oh, I see another shell. Let's go get that one real quick first. Because I will forget if I don't. I think it's right here. There it is. Mother says you're not one of us, but you protected us, didn't you, General? Oh, I forgot. You won't talk to me. Mother also says that your hometown is far away from here, just like ours. So far away that I think none she's... of us even know where it is. I think this person is talking to somebody General. that doesn't exist. Do you ever miss your home, I said? Maybe a ghost or something. Ooh, a monster. Let's kill it. Says what she you're obviously thinking. doesn't understand what that word means. Hey, Dodo King, why are you ignoring me? Is it because I took too long and made you angry? He's not and, even moving. Huh? And now she's apologizing. Oh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Hello, Dodo King. It looks like they're not interested in Klee at all. Some kind of humanoid machine. No response. It must be damaged. Got a sword. Oh, do you recognize it? No, I can only guess. It looks completely out of place on this island. Look at its clothes. Huh, it appears like it came from Inazuma. Inazuma? But isn't that really far away? So the machine isn't from it around here? So. This area of the sea is independent and does not border any country, so it certainly seems out of place here. But given Inazuma's current situation, how could something like this occur? An abandoned machine? Weird! Did someone bring it here? Oh no! Toto King is moving anymore! Klee, maybe Dodo King is tired. Right, right! The Dodo King is probably asleep! He was waiting so patiently for you, and then... Ah, oh. Nap time! Let's go with Klee to play 
elsewhere and come back once Dodo King wakes up. Really? Of course. No, I get it now. This isn't Dodo King. The real Dodo King is somewhere else. Huh, is that right? I won't give up. Dodo King, just wait. We'll find you. And there she goes! Again! Oh, she's got a lot of spirit. Clee, wait for us! Examine your environment. Navigate with caution. I'm examining my environment. It's not moving. Oh. Alright, where's my environment? Then I want me to examine it. Over here? Over there. Oh, stuff knocked down. Rocks. Look at these stacked up stones and small flowers. Knock them down. It feels like a memorial for someone. You're very perceptive. Hey, you're embarrassing me. Hmm. But the only other thing around here is that machine in Inazuman clothing. Oh. Could the memorial be for the machine? Ah. Uh, perhaps it once performed some deed that merited a memorial. Hmm. Everything we've seen here indicates that there was once a human presence in these waters. Still, there isn't enough for us to infer what kind of civilization it was. And up to now, we still have yet to see any people or gravestones. Master Jean, can I go over there and have a look? Yes, but be careful. Okay. How many secrets do these islands hold? Too young to have a proper sense of danger. Traveler, the rest of us must stay alert to the situation. Honestly speaking, I thought that letter was only a prank at first. That's what we thought! I suspected as much too, but who would send a prank letter to a child? A letter that guides us to activate mechanisms on a deserted archipelago. It's bizarre. It makes me wonder whether this isn't some kind of trap long in the making. We must keep our guard up. Miss Barbara? Clee, what's wrong? Do you think that Dodo King doesn't want to see Klee? Why would the Dodo King not want to see you, Klee? Dodoko loves me, and and I love Dodoko, so Dodo King can never separate us. <laughs> Klee doesn't want him to separate us. <laughs> hey, Klee, do you know what this is? <gasps> it's a hard pass stone. I heard my big si- uh, Master Jean say that Klee always wanted to play Harpastum, right? Yeah, Klee was just thinking about Ludi Harpastum. I made this Harpastum especially for you. No? <laughs> Yay! It kind of so keep your chin up, Klee. After we meet Dodo King, we can all help you convince him to let you and Dodo Ko stay together. Okay. Let's double our efforts. We have to find yeah. it. Yeah! Leave it to us, Klee. This doodle jerk can't hide forever. Even if it takes a thousand years and a thousand searches. Uh, we'll get him. <clears throat> but until then, let's have a good look around the area. Alright, we finished that part. That was easy. Dodo King on the sea, lying in wait. Okay, so they've got these new things. Wind blessed Harpastum. Now we return to camp. Wait until the sun is just right. Observe the direction of the wind to help steer your wave rider into correct course. Activate mechanisms. Sail your way through the whirlpool off the starboard. Means off the right side. 
This challenge is divided into seaborne and airborne courses. Your final score is based on the amount of time taken to complete the challenge and the number of insignias collected. Navigate your wave rider to collect as many insignias as possible. Navigate it through wavefront girdles to gain a short speed boost. Collect charged particles to charge up your accelerate ability. Floating towers made by monsters. More insignias appear along the course if you defeat the monsters. Wow. It's a whole nother uh, set of things. I got this one. All right, I got a wave render repair toolbox. Restores 50% of the structural integrity. 90 second cooldown. Oh boy, another gadget. So a bunch of rewards if you continue all these things, but that was the main gadget thing to get. All right, so they want me off the island and to go back to your camp. Let's do a, I think I have a waypoint down there and a waypoint here and a waypoint there. So I can get around pretty easily. wonder what that is. What is that? I don't know, but I'm teleporting. Alrighty. How long do I have to sit here? So... Six the next morning. Aw. Alright, we'll try to see if this is six. A little bit farther. I think they mean the next morning, so I will probably at six have to go all the way back. Actually, let's just do this. That way... Either way, it's going to work. So yeah, skipping that morning to the next one. Beautiful sunrise. Look at that. Aha! Let's equip this thing, our pastor. I want to see what it does. Which is the to use it, okay. Oop, never mind. We're staying here. What? Aw. You're kidding me. Am I leaving the place? I have to restart the timer. Silly, silly, silly. Alright, not moving. Stay in place. Beautiful sunrise coming up. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Start. Sun coming up. We're on a cruise, everybody. Da 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 da. Honorary night. Honorary night. Huh? You're awake. Morning. Did you have a good rest? You changed. Good morning, traveler. Jean, your clothes. Did you change back? Mm-hmm. My big sister. Master Jean said that this whole situation is more than we bargained for. Even if it feels like a vacation destination, our primary objective is to protect everyone. For safety, we changed back into our original clothes. I guess it does dampen the summery feel a little. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. 
Who cares? Back to work already! Ladies okay. and gentlemen, the Knights of Favonius Acting Grandmaster! Wish I had that same self-discipline. too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. It must be Doro King! <sighs> Even Paimon's starting to believe that this Doro King might actually show up! I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. Hey, here's a course. Let's try this course while we're all the way up here. I don't know if they'll bring me back to the spot if I fail, but... But this is one of those aerial, you fall type of things. Yep. Oh no! Oh, I had it. I tell. We'll put me back in the beginning, probably not. Damn, that was close. I tried to fall and I missed a one ring, and one ring screwed up. Call my ship, so I just go over here. Wait a second. What's this? <laughs> hmm. Uh, adjust your angle. Throw that harposta through the hymnal rings to modify the element. Match the ring. Destroy the elemental targets, unlock mechanisms, twister rings can change the trajectory, reprise rings split into two, you can adjust the position, okay, so weird. Yeah. Alright, so how do I launch these things? Ta-da! So Z and then E to launch these. Okay. Good to know. If we see another one, we'll know how to do it. I will skip you guys, you guys take too long. I'm bored tomorrow or some other time off. And yeah, oh I see another one over there. Alright, so, while we are on our way, look what we found. Let's do it! Okay, so they want me to go this way. Full speed ahead. Okay, got a bunch, okay. Jumping would make me get out. I don't think I want that. Ah, so they do want me to get out. I got 7 out of 13. That's not bad.
Oh boy. Uh, they want me all the way up there, but I think I'm gonna run out of energy. But I got time. Yep. And we fly down. And that's the end point. There we go, I did it. Completed! 136, new record. All right. And look, they dropped us off near a spot. So let's activate this guy. I see right behind me and there's a shell. There's a bunch of stuff to get here. Activated that waypoint. Ooh. Normal attacks. Go here and throw the Harpasta at it. Okay. I don't see any wind, so let's do it. Ta-da! It's reflecting. Am I supposed to hit something under reflection? Did not do anything. Oh, I hit the reflection. Ah, okay. Let's switch to uh, Mangler. Okay, so it's like a play tennis against it. Because you see how it multiplied? It's like, ooh. Oh, I have to swing at that. I think it's broken. There we go. Aha! Did you see how the wall was falling down? This is a very awkward... Oh. What? You have to time it just right. Last try, and then I give up. This game sucked. Right, anyway. Sorry. Whoever invented that game broke that one. Aha, I see. I see them. Let me get the shell real quick before I forget. You are loud today, Firecracker. Thank goodness, he won't stop whining. I have to beat these guys to see this. Too. The other half 
off the ship, it's here! This samurai puppet is all that's left. <laughs> this must be the ship. Hmm. Go to the location she mentioned. Glasses. Hmm? Hmm? What the heck are they what doing the here? What the heck are they doing here? <laughs> that was weird. I said it and she hey, said it. Hi, I'm the weird grown up. Huh. I had no idea we'd run into you here. Told you she says what you're thinking. Pleasure. What are you two doing here? Huh? So it's not Dodo okay? King? Hmm. Dodo King. Huh. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Ooh, he had just fixed it now for you. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. Huh? You mean the falling carried you here too? You seem surprised. It's giving it away? Dragon Keep that a secret. Dragonflies are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? Oh Jesus, he discovered that Venti oh, is... Devon must be a die-hard fan of classical ballads. Wow! <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. You mean they abandoned you. <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. So, who are the two others? Albedo and Razor. Huh? Albedo and Razor? Yay! Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation! Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah, uh, yes, that. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. Whoa, that's weird. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact, while D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. Must have found something he's more interested in. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master Diluc? 
Is that so? Albedo is an alchemist, and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took such effort to freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? I still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts. Uh, regardless, things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Sure. But of course. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose! Let's go look for him! Alright, let's look for him. I see these over here and I'm distracted, so I'm gonna go grab these. <gasps> with my new power. So I am supposed to launch something through here and to go to there. But I have to tweak these things. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And see if this works. But I want to stand on one of them geo thingies. Can't rotate this one. Hmm. Well, let's try... Here. That didn't work. Oh, I can't go this way, so I need to rotate all the way around. There we go. Nothing. <gasps> supposed to be a spot. Is it? Is there supposed to be a spot I'm supposed to stand on to line them all up? Be this rock right here. Ah, here's the platform. Okay. This thing needs to be turned somehow. Let's try that. How am I going to get this? I don't know. Ah, okay. So it's going out that way. So it needs to be rotated exactly 90. There we go. But, uh... We'll take it. That made no sense, but we'll take it. So I didn't actually have to adjust that one at all. And this is very dangerous. Okay. Alright, let's check the map. Where are we heading? We are heading to this island. So let's go ahead and teleport to here and then come back down. If I can. Southwest, that would be right there. 
Is that the platform right there, or is this the island? I think it's this island right here. This whole setup looks a little bit familiar. I see a shell. Oh man, there's a bunch of shells. I missed one on that island. There's shells all over these islands. Let's wake this one up. Wait, wait. Okay. And why do you even have it there? Distracting me, I guess. Alright, another one to launch one of those Thingma bobbers at. From. Hmm. did it perfectly. Dude, what do you not like about that? Is that guy bothering you? your problem or is there another one I was supposed to go through? Is this something about fire? Was I supposed to use an arrow? No. go higher. Okay. Not a whole lot of rewards, but I'll take it. Alright, let's go to the shell. Which I'm guessing is... Whoop. Oh, this it. island is really big. Where could he be? Albedo! Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Whoa! He just came out of nowhere behind us! Who's Mr. Albedo? Hello everyone. Hello, Klee. Albedo is Chief Alchemist, Captain of the Investigation Team of the Knights of Favonius. His groundbreaking achievements in the field of alchemy have earned him reputation as a genius. Not one to socialize, the genius researcher is usually seen wearing a same calm, cool collection expression. Only when he's buried in his research does his speak more energetic and enthusiastic side seem to emerge. Soil and chalk, when alone, he's pondering profound alchemical conundrums. But there seems to be no end in sight to his research. I that we might convene around this time. He's a chemical engineer and he's got green eyes just like me. I trust you enjoyed your stroll. How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. Oh, please don't mention it. I felt that the two of you could do with some alone time. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. Ah. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master Diluc says, Dodo King? Everyone's letter was different. And yet what? all of them drew us to this archipelago. What the letter the say? very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. <laughs> oh, that 
It's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? Anyway, so what's your story, D. Luke? There is an abyss order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. He wanted to wipe us all out in one place with one weapon, I, I bet. trusted the letter to begin with. Yes. It would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. Yeah, you mean for your treasure. Didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. Meow. Kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, pie my nose, pie my nose! It must be Drift, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists, but there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! If you say so. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over, or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found, and there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. That platform. We've already been there. We were there a few days ago. There was a mysterious machine. Jin said that it came from Inazuma. Hmm. Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Um, I was gonna grab my shell that I saw on the map. That might be up top. Maybe it's right here. I'll bet it's in this little tiny platform right here. Just a guess. Right here. Yep. That explains why hey, I didn't see it up there. Do you hear that? That sound means the tide is coming in any second. We have to get to the top of the mountain. Here, climb up this vine. Go! Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go back here, grab that shell. Where's that center platform? I'm just gonna, oh, so I have a thing to warp here. I'm gonna go here, grab a shell that I saw, and then go to that warp to that one that I was heading for. Okay, so there's a shell down here, it said. Probably right on the edge, just to be obnoxious. I don't see one. Could be under here. No se? I do not know. Ah, oh, there's a chest. Maybe there's a shell inside the chest. Oh, there's another shell over there too. West of me. Okay. Nope, that was not it, but that's a pretty good one. Hmm, another ledge. Huh. 
like a little cave type thing. In fact, I'll bet you, you can help this. Yes. There's the shell. Sweet. As long as we stay on this course, following the waves, we just need one good, strong gust of wind. Now your name sounds familiar, or that well, voice sounds familiar. Well, as it happens, the wind direction changes in quite a unique way when the moon rises at this time of the year. Ah. Really? Nighttime. Are you sure? Yep. I know the winds in these seas like the back of my hand. Illegible notes. My mind never thought there'd be a place like this here. There's a journal here too? Let's see what it says. We wish to leave this place. We have to find a way to break through the fog somehow. Who knew this that such a sight would would be seen on a rock to the northwest? I'd love to bring her to see it too. Alright, northwest. Uh, I think it happened at around 11 o'clock. Okay, so 11 o'clock, northwest. Short-lived gap sometimes appears in the fog over the northeasterly island. Okay, so now we got northeasterly island. Who knows? We might be able to use this to leave these islands. The wind, that's right. If we could use the wind, we might be able to charge right through. But the wind direction... This part of the sea is very strange. Let's get the timing right. Perhaps the wind at around 12 might be more suitable. So 11 or 12, northwest and northeast, look around for those. It says there's a gap in the fog in the northern island at noon. Well then, why don't we do as the journal says and visit the northern island at noon? See if we learn something new. Okay, so I got a new quest here. Is there any way out, or am I basically trapped unless I teleport? Looks like I'm basically trapped in this game. Ah, I just read the bucket. Alright, we need to warp out of here. They probably say Northernly Island. Aha! Then I think that island up there, okay. Well, let's go back up, grab another shell, take that boat to there, try the 12 o'clock thing. Don't worry, I won't forget the main quest. Just want to see if there's something cool on the side quest. I get distracted, I guess. <laughs> Alright, shell number two, you're down here. Doesn't look like you're up there, let's try here. Looking for a shell. I see it. Right there. And there's a chest on the other side. Okay. The tides are getting higher by the year. If the water level rises much further, we will stand very little chance of survival. Mm. There's no other choice. I must tell everyone to pack up their belongings and move to higher ground. Mother! What's wrong? The tide reached us, so I told everyone to run and get to higher ground. But the family heirloom... I'm sorry. It was a choice between that and getting everyone to safety, so I... I didn't have enough time to get it. Hmm. Something else to look for. It's right in the center of the island. If the water recedes some time, or if someone gets in from outside, we'll just have to get them to find it for us. Alright, so we look for something in the center of the island. All right, so they're telling me where it is. So there's that, and then there's that. There's all kinds of little things here. Let's teleport to here. That's a high point. We'll guide down to that one. Then we'll come back, and then we'll go grab the boat and go up there. It's got to be a low ground, because if it had been flooded...
Of course, there's monsters. I have to beat them first. Oh. Into the water. Oh no, I drowned. I ran out of energy doing my little attack thingy. Oh man. That's embarrassing. They put me way back up here. Okay. It's not the healing kind, is it? Alright, we're using somebody else. You. Don't fall in the water and run out of energy. And Barbara, you can heal, so I can actually switch. Oh yeah, they're giving me the reward for beating that guy early. 28 Mora, what did you do? I'm digging. Looks long enough. Alright. Lock chest. Found it! Treasure, treasure. Wonder what we'll find inside. There's a lock on it. It's coded. Need the code to unlock it. Can't just shatter it. So good find a way to unlock it. No stone tablets, portraits, notes, carvings, or notes nearby. There's a dearth of scholars, treasure hoarders, and adventurers, too. Yeah, unprecedented test. Family heirlooms locked inside. Probably means the person who locked it thinks the code they left behind is easier to remember. Only chance. Conches at store sounds. Listen to the sounds of the conches again. Hope they get some kind of clue as to the code. Alrighty. Enter the correct position. Okay, let's enter one. Um, second position. Two. Three. And four. Didn't open. Alright, so that's going to take me a while. I think we should move on to that other one that I was talking about. Taking the boat and going north. If we bump into enough and we get the code, we can come back and grab that super treasure. <sighs> Look for shells if we happen to see them. But... I wish they would give me a map with all the shells so I can just go straight to them instead of looking around. Ooh, that other chest I forgot about. It's like a regular common chest. It is. Oh, that's okay. It's good. Good, good. good. Alright, we wanted to find you over here. Ooh, is that a side room? A little house show. Felt like a sonic boom. Somebody's breaking the sound barrier. I think that's what it was. Aha, we found a shell. Didn't take long. Ooh, somebody inside there. I bet he's in, in there. This is gonna probably call up monsters. It's more one of those fake ones. Aw. Barbara, you're gonna kill him, fire. It's not that good. Ah, 
fuck you in the morning. Yeah. that shell? Is it in here? I bet it's hiding in here. Ooh, a fish. There it is. It was in here. We have to get every single shell because we have to uh, get the secret code and there's also a shell quest. We simply put the net here and wait. When the tide goes out, the fish will get caught in the net. Wow! Amazing! You like that, huh? <laughs> the ancestors have a lot more wisdom where that came from. Three free fish. Alright, let's get back on going. We wanted to go north, not there. The north was... Let's make sure we're going the right way. Yeah. Although, if it's to deep water, I wonder if that's going to be a problem. Your shell over here doesn't look like it. Something to blow up over here. Can't go that way? Oh. Can't go into deep water. So that island... Wait, now I can't. False line. Bye bye. Stuck. I'm frozen. Aw. Doesn't like this deep water. And her name is the Mary Celeste. Okay, this is a big chest. I guess I'll stay here. purpose. Still not 
Who else is still alive? Aha, it was you. Go ground yourself. Bye bye. I grounded him. Still nothing. Did it knock this down? Oh, forgot you. Oh, bye. Okay. Now I get the gigantic chest. Now I can... Nope. I was hoping it would say, now you can sail on deep water. Yeah. Alright, my ship is gone. I may need to go find another ship. Luckily I can... swim. That's a weird combo over there. So you need to... Move up. There we go. There you go. I don't know what I did, but... It gained some sort of power. Okay, and then you need to rotate yourself over, if I can, adjust to position, alright, so I just adjusted, can't tell your direction now, but I changed it to number two, where's my didn't do nothing. See if there's any other option. Reset position. Alright, so I already tried the reset position. Now I'm trying one. I already tried two. Last one needs to be adjusted now. Oh, that'll be great. See what the options are on that one. Okay, so that one's probably in... We want probably two. Yeah. Alright, so we tried two. I think there's two targets. Ta da! Hit the target, just one target. Exquisite chest. A couple things. Nothing. That's the thing I need to unlock, but I don't have the. Uh, I don't know how to do that.
So how do you get to this island over here? You can't, I don't think. Unless... What if I flew to here, teleport there, get another ship? Skip the island. Yeah, I don't know how to get to deep... How to go in deep water. We will try again. Go any farther or am I, am I limited? I can go into deep water. Why wouldn't they let me before? Alright, so we want to go that way. Basically north. I think it's this island right here. Yep. Keep on keeping on. moving. Bunch of other rocks over there, but I'm going to ignore those. I wonder if I can get this boat back on the main... in the main section. That would be nice. It's a cave. Cave of Wonders. Oh boy, that's a major cave. Look at that drop down there. Wow, all you guys are here. Didn't see you here. Geo, if I had a Geo monster, I could probably do a lot better. Be a Geo hero. There we go. This is nice. through the fog in the middle of the day between 10 and 14. Oh, maybe that's a way to exit out of this one. Aww. Where's Baidu when you need her? Look at that, she's ripping through that. Yeah. 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 
one yet. He's a shield breaker. Easy. Just don't put your shield back on her. I'm gonna be mad. Uh, crushed him. Only took like 20 seconds. 20 minutes. Alright, what's the chest? Ooh, not bad. Level up stuffs. Alright, so I'm in a cave. Need to get out of the cave to find the shell. I have to climb to get out. Let's climb this way. Okay, let's not climb this way. Oh, wait. Ah, here we go. The ladder made out of spirits. Oh, another chest. Okay, I still need to climb out. Do I need to climb to here? Probably. I'm annoying. Alright, so I made it out. Don't go back in there. You can pierce through the fog fog between 10 and 4. Let me grab this gel and then I will turn on the fast forward in time. The fog is clearing, just like you said. Oh, maybe it's the right time. <laughs> we just need to keep sailing downwind and we'll be home free. Ten o'clock. I don't see anything else here, although they marked spot here. Ahead. It says it's marked oh, there's a whirlpool right there. Huh. Alright, so let's fast forward, see what happens. Achievements, you blew up your ship. Suffer the destruction of your wave rider. Yep. Give me a reward for failure. I think it's just one of those to make you feel better type things. Don't feel bad. We'll give you a participation trophy. Alright, time wise. We want to move forward till 10 a.m. Ok, 
Today, 9.55, what happens at 10 a.m.? Alright, it says sail. Probably should have brought my sailboat. I should have brought my sailboat. Where's my boat? Somewhere around here. That dude's right here, I don't see it. There it is. Why did I do that? It's because of my button to speed up and to jump. See, I push speed up and it jumped. So let's fast forward again. I guess you have to get here right at the right time. Alright, I'm in my boat. So we're going, we're going. See the, the bot. They don't want me to mess up. End up in a whirlpool. So if it's foggy, would I end up going in those whirlpools? Found an island. Is that the target of my destination? Looks like I went back in a circle. Am I through the fog? Sure made this look clear. Look around. Look for an objective. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Wow, there we go. Everybody gets weapons, yeah. That was cool. Let's check the map. Anywhere else up here? Nope. Ah, okay. So I basically just had to cut through there to get to this island. Bill <gasps> says look around. Must be something else up here. Ah. 
see stuff down here. Observe. Hey, there we go, look at that. There's some sort of drawing on the stone. There's a sun, there's a sailboat, and there's four people in the boat cheering, and two people... Or they're walking the plank. Looks like people were ready to board a ship. Hmm, yeah. Simon doesn't know what all this means. Let's record this mural down. Take the photo to the Nameless Islet Mural. Oh, take a photo of it. Oh, okay. So they want me to pull out one of those cameras. Camera, special camera. Who knew we'd find a mural like this one on the island? Still, we can't make complete sense out of the story these murals depict just by looking at them. There must be similar murals in the surrounding islands nearby. Let's look around and see what we can find. Okay, another thing to find. Look for other murals. Do they tell me where they are to look for them? I don't see any other ones around here. Do I need to warp back or... Like not here. Certainly don't see anymore. <laughs> oh, look who I found. Hey, you pumpkin? Pumpkin's being loud, that's... No more whirlpools. Strange. Oh, lost your way amidst the mist. Okay. You can only travel through there a certain time of day. Oh, and they brought me all the way back to the beginning. Alright. I think that is good for that specific type of quest. Let's see if there's another... Let me see. Oops. Alright, let's go to other quests and go back to one of the other ones. Okay, so look for the other murals. Discover strange mural on one of the islands. Perhaps this archipelago is home, for, home to more of these murals. Okay. So that's starting a quest. Maybe that's... Other places. Okay, Dodo King lying in wait, Central Isle. Okay, that was my next one. Let's go ahead and go for that. That is easy enough. I can go straight to that. I see somebody. Hello, hello. Look for Razor. There he is. Look! Over there! Razor! We were everyone. just here. That is everyone. I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? <laughs> no need. 
Okay. What are you doing here? I smelled something. This gift to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as leather. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, did Dodo King factor that in too? Hmm. Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh? This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Oh. Here. Me? You want me to do it? Yes. I traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Klee trusts the honorary knight too. Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary knight? Prepare yourself. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? You're right. Let's do this. Insert the component. Alright, so let's trade people. We definitely don't want... Amber here. Amber, you are a... Liability. Let's try you. Behold, the princess and Deva Hotel. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's use you, Barbara, and heal everybody. Uh, not working. That's okay. We have you when we need you. Do it. Reason, but I didn't bring him in. Oh no, he healed. By royal decree. Power that ended high shot. Maybe it's a timed thing, you have to do it quickly. Oh, he's changing now, he's not exactly the same. No rest for the wicked. Let the 
Yay, we got him. Finally. Look, what's that? Are those crystals? We should ask the expert. Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin cards? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. He figured that out in like two seconds. As far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population, they were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals, hmm. They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. How can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Hmm. I see. And what about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine in this way? Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. The only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm, there is a Hilicho presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at Hilichos to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look, another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwestern, southwestern isle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. The secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? Trying to tell us something. What could it mean? Does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here! There is two? The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge, round thingy on it. Clee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Please, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? 
We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Ching is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. Yay! Okay! <sighs> Where does she get the energy? If Paima didn't know better, Paima would think that G was Queen's mother. <laughs> you know, I had the exact same thought just now. Kaya. <laughs> My apologies, Acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. Mm hmm. Specifically telling me go southwest. I bet I can work there. Teleport. Okay, so I have never been there apparently. Well, let's go here. That'll get us most of the way there. Might pick up a shell or two on the way, although I think I got them all on this side. Oh, I did take that stand corrected. There's one right here. Alright, Shell, where are you? They make these hard to find. There it is. Hey! Careful! You can't go napping here. You'll catch a cold. Go on, I'll take over. How is the sea? Anything to report? Hmm? Uh, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, uh, don't worry. No, no sign, sign of the tide, tide coming, coming in so far. Alrighty. I'm on the wrong side. Should I go around? Or cut through? I will cut. What's the penalty? Ooh, there's a big circle over there. That is shallow water. See if I can damage this thing or if I have to go around it. Like I have to go around it. Okay. Aha! Alright, so I found it. Uh, wait, I'm gonna go hop out over here. So I can damage these things. Hmm. I don't know how to get rid of that. It's those three crystals things I was looking for. Alright, I'll activate this, I'll activate this. That's the big round thing that she was talking about. Uh, hmm. I'll go that way. I'll drown. It's gotta be those crystals. I gotta do something. Oh, there's a cave. Cave of Wonders. Catching fish, probably. Is 
this my secret way into the cave? No. Huh? Is this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid though. But it is. Should I freeze it? Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Hmm. Big shield, big shield! <laughs> Queen knows you're in there! Hey, Dodo Kid, it's me, Queen! Come out and face me! Come out and face her, you here? No answer. Huh. Maybe he's not here. No, he's kind of here. The bigger the shield, the better Dodo King must be. Sounds like Klee wanted to play mine. Oh, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. I found him around the corner. Walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Sure. Hmm. Turn one sideways. These light emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? Oh, I don't get it. So I'll explain. An oblong circle. Fan shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be. Huh, a fish scale. We got some of those. But why would we Probably. put a fish scale there? Are there any other clues around? Whatever it is. We'd be placing it into the frames in front of the light emitting device. Which means... You have to be transferred. I've never seen anything like this. <gasps> so that's what they're for! If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. And would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes, just like leather. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh. That's right. Honor and light. Didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Three crystals. Light red like flower petals. Light blue like ocean waves. Light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Pop them in there. Precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! 
In that case, Pirate's got something to say. On the way over, Pirate saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystal back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay. It'll work. Everyone follow Tainan! Do it right, but where are the fish? Please, was there anything else on that letter? Oh, uh, um, what was it? Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Rays grow dark and the stars are rising. So, Go fast forward. Maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark, or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish. Eat. Yeah, yeah. Let's go fish blasting. Hey. Hold on, Clee. Who Master Jean come to? Jean said if Clee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean. You know it's for fishing, not little shopping. Right? Uh, yes, I did Just say that. <sighs> All right, then. Time to go fish blasting with Clee. Uh, is Pilot hearing things? Jean and Clee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Fight some fish! Fight some fish! Let's go! There! Mini fish! Clee's gonna get there first! Wait! Wait! Well, there they go! Well... If Razor is going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. Mimi, you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kai is on the case. Ugh. <sighs> Master D. Luke, are you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Pirate doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! He left ages ago. Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. Thanks. No, I, I was just... <sighs> what I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. That's team for you. Always reliable. You're a very hardworking person. I hope you can get some proper rest here. Thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. Quest completed. Final riddle, a secret, secret uncovered. Hmm. 
Mm. So if I keep fighting him, I keep getting rewards. Okay. Interesting. Lots of stuff. Collecting shells, that seems to be... Basically lots of fun in games. Party finds the key to solving the final riddle. Creepy on the islands now within reach. Klee seems to be more anxious than ever. Rest until the early morning, 6 a.m. What is the truth that has quietly sat and wait this whole time? Okay. That seems to be the final one. Alright. Well, there's definitely a load of things left to finish up. I don't think I'll finish all of them, but uh, I think that's a good stopping point for now. I'll definitely catch up. Hopefully finish this off next week, especially since it's about to expire, so uh, 